the president uh, of Sachs, you know, is quoted as saying, governing boards are the ones that are responsible for ensuring the well-being of the institution, not the governor, not the legislatures, not Jane and John Citizen. And so, you know, that's a view that really uh, this board uh, trumps the entire state of Florida. Uh, we reject that. And so today we're going to do something about it. It's not just that that doesn't make sense to have these accreditation agencies have so much power. Uh, we believe it violates uh, the law and the federal constitution to allow them to exercise such power. So the attorney general and I today are filing uh, a lawsuit against the Biden administration, against the Department of Education, Secretary Cardona and other plaintiffs. Uh, and we're asking the court to find this arrangement to be unconstitutional. And it's, it's unconstitutional in a couple ways. First, you cannot take legislative power and delegate it to an unaccountable private body and let them uh, administer that power without any type of checks and balances. And so we believe it violates what's called the, the private non-delegation doctrine. And, and we think that, that we're going to be right on it because, I mean, there's over $100 billion in student aid every year that hinges on the decisions of these accreditation agencies. And yet Congress has basically just said, you do it, you know, we're going to stay out of it. And, and I understand why they did it, because they didn't want federal control of education. Uh, and so in some respects, I, I appreciate that. Uh, but on the flip side, you now have a situation where these unaccountable private bodies are wielding huge power. I mean, if you're making a decision that could affect billions of dollars of funding, you know, that is really, really significant. And in America, you need to be accountable to somebody. And right now they're accountable to nobody.